Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a super delicious stuffed French toast casserole. It's made with sourdough bread, perfect for Christmas morning. I want to say thank you to Undeniably Dairy and local farm families for sponsoring today's video. More on them in a bit. I love to make something special on Christmas morning extra bonus points if it's something that you can actually make ahead of time. So with this recipe, you'll actually start it on December 23rd. Just get your bread dough going, that's all you have to do, get it kneading. To start this recipe off, you're going to need two loaves, which is just one recipe of my sourdough French bread, which means that the night before, if you want long fermented, which I always do, you will get going in a mixer, a cup of sourdough starter, two tablespoons olive oil, a tablespoon honey, one and a quarter cup water, two teaspoons salt, four cups flour. Now you'll just allow that to ferment overnight and then you can whip up the rest of this recipe on Christmas Eve, put it in the fridge, and then pop it in the oven on Christmas morning so that you can have this delicious breakfast easy and ready for you to go. Like I mentioned before, the video today is sponsored by Undeniably Dairy and local farm families featuring cheese. Now you know I love using cheese in all kinds of recipes in my kitchen. I use a ton of it because dairy is high in protein, obviously it's delicious, and it actually is good for the planet. Because of continuous improvements in sustainable farming practices, U.S. dairy farmers are now using 65% less water and 90% less land to produce 60% more milk. Dairy foods are linked to better bone health, especially in kids. My kids love cheese, what kids don't. It also contains a lot of nutrients that can fill those nutritional gaps in your diet. I purchased mascarpone and cream cheese at my local Walmart. I took advantage of their pickup. I had all three boys with me and it was actually my first time getting out of the house with the baby. And so I ordered ahead online, reserved a pickup spot and got my delicious locally produced cheeses all from the Midwest area brought right out to my car, which is a bonus. I will leave direct links down in the description box below to the cheeses that I use to make this delicious Christmas morning French toast casserole. I allowed my French bread dough to rise overnight. Then I punched it down, took it out of the bowl and divided it in half. Now to shape the French bread, I just roll it out into a large rectangle. Roll it up and pinch the edges. This just helps it to keep its shape during baking. Then I put it on a parchment lined baking sheet and allow it to rise again until double. Now this is totally optional, but I like to slash it with a razor just to make it have more of that French bread look. Now you're not really gonna see it in this recipe because you're going to end up cutting the bread. After slashing it, I add it to a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Now in order to make it brown a little bit better, you can add some ice cubes to a baking dish and this just provides steam in the oven that gives it a more crusty golden exterior. All right, we're going to start by adding eight ounce package of mascarpone. Now, mascarpone is kind of like cream cheese. It really doesn't taste exactly the same. It has a similar texture, but it's more spreadable and it's higher in fat content. So it really adds a creamy element to this dish, which I can appreciate. Whenever one of my daughters taste tested this recipe, she was like, what is the difference? And I told her about the mascarpone and she said, why don't we always use mascarpone? So I said, well, we should. I just am not in the habit of buying it, but I think I will be now. Next, I'm going to add eight ounces of cream cheese and two teaspoons of vanilla. And then I'm just going to take this over to my mixer, get it nice and whipped up, and then I'll add the sweet stuff. Next, I'm going to add a cup of maple syrup and a cup of organic powdered sugar. All right, this turns out so creamy and delicious. Next, I'm just going to fold in about two cups of fresh blueberries. I 
I'm gonna pull my bread out. I believe that it is done. Next, I'm gonna get my egg mixture going, which I'm going to start with two cups of milk and six eggs. I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of sugar. I like to use this Sucanat. You can use any kind of sugar, honestly. And a couple teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm just gonna give this all a whisk. Next, I'm gonna stuff this French toast, which is the fun part. I'm gonna start by taking my bread. Ooh, it's still really hot and slicing it in one inch slices, but being careful not to cut all the way through. And then I'm just going to take my cream cheese mixture and sort of put it in between each slice. Now this could get a little bit messy, but remember it does not have to be perfect to taste delicious. I find that the easiest way to do it is to hold each piece back with like a spatula or something and then use a small spoon to get in between. That's what I found was the most effective. Next, you'll want to cover it with your egg and milk mixture. And this is where you can pop it in the fridge overnight. Now you can also just do a couple of hours if you wanna make this um, maybe for dinner, I don't know, dessert or something, or maybe a brunch and you don't have the time to wait, um, you can totally do that as well. You just want it to completely soak up into the bread so that it's nice and incorporated. And then the next day or whenever it's all soaked in, you're going to pop it in a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until the egg mixture is set. Ideally, you'll have a four pork casserole dish, which is what I did in my red dish. I'm making this again, and I'm using two smaller ones. So you can also just divide it and use two if you don't have a casserole dish quite that large. I'm gonna cover these with soil and bake them tomorrow. You can sprinkle the top with a little bit of sifted powdered sugar to add a little more of that Christmas morning special feeling and enjoy. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration for what you could make on Christmas morning. It really is all about the prep so that you can enjoy Christmas morning. Just put it in the oven and not have to worry about it. And I know your kids will love it too. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check the link in the description box below to the delicious cheeses that I used today to create this recipe. Again, thank you to Undeniably Dairy and local farm families for supplying this delicious, nutritious ingredient. As always, if you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.